Hi everyone and welcome to this um, short tutorial on how to instrument your game using Altester version 2.0 and we will be building a Windows standalone build. So to get started we will first need to create a new project in Unity. Once that's done and the project is created um, we will open it with Unity Editor and then go to Unity Asset Store and use the Open in Unity functionality for the Endless Runner sample game that Unity has uh, with uh, Trash Cat. So we will open the sample game uh, in Unity Editor, we'll download the package if needed, um, if, unless you have it already, and then we will import it in the game. Okay, now that the game is uh, imported, we can first make sure that the uh, import was successful by loading a scene and trying to play it in, um, in the Unity Editor in play mode. Okay, once we check that everything is working, we can exit play mode and we can we can drag and drop the Altester Unity SDK to 00, zero from, download it from our website and import it into the project. There are a few errors that are displayed in the console that mean that some of the dependencies are not yet resolved. We have a section in the documentation that explains how to resolve these, so we can do that now. We need to add one dependency in this case and then um, add the core teams. You may already have this in your project. And add the testable directive to the manifest. So once these changes are, are done, um, the console's errors that we saw before should be resolved in Unity Editor. Back in the Unity Editor, we need to allow the scripts to recompile and the errors should be no longer displayed. So now that the errors are gone, um, we can open the Altester editor window and build our standalone application. We can do that once the Altester editor window opens from the build only button on the specified platform. We are now building for Windows. The build was successfully created, uh, so we can try to open it. And it looks like we still have some development console errors when the application is running. Um, and this is because before we build the application with this game specifically, we need to first build the addressables and then the content will be loaded correctly. So let's do that first. Once the addressables uh, build was successful, we can rebuild the application and make sure it has no errors. So now the app starts correctly and we can see the alt tester green dialog that shows us that the application was successfully instrumented. 